No. Well, they have. They've got plans on you doing decorating. Yeah. <laughs> No, we, we, we've done it, but somebody else's. Okay, fine. As long as you know who it is, because somebody yeah. down here, I've got John and Margaret, and they're looking down, and they're talking about decorating. Yeah. But it's not like a bit of decorating either, it's quite a lot. Yes. So I'm talking about, you know, stripping the walls, sanding the wood. I mean, I, this yeah. is not like throwing up a piece of paper over the chimney breast. This is the whole yeah. big scale thing. Yeah, okay, so they're sort of up there. You know, they're looking down and they want to do the supervising, so they're sort of looking, going, oh yeah, that's going to take quite a while. Okay, and it's going to be more expensive than was expected. Yes. So they're going to start off thinking, oh, that'll be lovely, and yeah, then, then it'll be twice as much as they thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is this a, si a sister or somebody? Who's doing the decorating? My daughter. Okay, because I feel like I'm a female family member. Yeah. I've got a sister, but if you understand, yeah, it's a big job. It's a very big job. So she's going to be all excited <laughs> to begin with, and then at halfway through, she's going to come around and go, oh, mum, yeah. this happened, and we pulled that off, and that fell down, <laughs> and we've got to cover this up, and whatever, and it's twice as much. Okay, and they're up there going, yeah. you know, you're just going to have to, because once she starts, she's got to carry on. That's right. And you're just going to have to be supportive, they're saying, because yeah. she's going to start pulling her hair out and thinking, I don't care now. We'll just leave <laughs> it and go do somewhere else. Okay? Bless her. Right, they're also talking at the Debbie about a short trip. So I feel like I'm going to London for a weekend, or I'm going to see a play, or I'm doing something like that. I'm going somewhere overnight. Are you aware of that already? No. Okay, well, that's going to come up okay in the next six months but i feel like i might be going to london to watch something or i might or somebody's going to say to you do you want to go and do this okay okay so okay. just watch out for that <laughs> and i've got 21. is somebody in the family going to be 21 and they're going to have a big party because they've just shown me you know you have those old-fashioned 21 keys like for a birthday yeah. Don't worry if you can't remember now, because you've already explained to me it's a big family, but I've got yeah. like a 21st, I've got a 21 for some reason. Someone's just been 21. Okay, that's fine, because I've got the 21 key on yeah. a birthday thing, okay? So I know it's belated, but can you just tell them that they've wished them happy birthday? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Because they're saying it's important. Right, they mentioned Lick Hills, now for some reason we're on to Chase Town. That's completely the other way, we're right yeah. over by Brown Hills now, so just write that down, okay? Okay. Um, right, and who's the person in the family who's the nurse? I've got somebody, either a nurse uh, or a caring profession, but I've got the uniform on. Do you yeah. understand? Is that yeah. you? No. But you know who it is, don't yeah. you? Okay, that's fine. Because I've got a nurse's uniform on, I feel. You know, but I feel like I'm moving up. Yes, definitely. Do you know what I mean? I'm not definitely. just like, oh, I'll put an apron on and I'm helping out delivering no. drinks and whatever. This lady uh, is, I'm moving up. Yes. You know, she's quite senior, and you need to say, because they're very, very proud of it. Look, they're going, what are yeah. they going to look? I've just got to go. I've just got No, they're just very yeah. proud, okay? So can you make sure to pass that on, because they're really like, that's well-deserved. A lot of yeah. studying, a lot of hours, and it's just like, you know, like Florence Nightingale, they're like, they're over the moon up there. Yeah. Do you, do you understand? I do understand. Who is it? Sorry. My daughter. Sorry, that's me being I can't yeah. help myself, but no, because they're <laughs> so <laughs> excited. Me too, actually, is my daughter. And uh, my niece, is okay. she just studying to become a nurse? No, no, it's the one that's moved up. That You know, when we're talking, I think it's your daughter we're talking adults, about. Because yeah. they're very, adults, very yeah. emphatic about, you know, yeah. oh, hasn't she done well? Yeah. Whereas you're saying the other one's training, maybe she's just about to go into it. This yeah. is more like, I'm established, I've worked hard. Yeah. And it's well she's deserved. A, she's you a physio, not a nurse. Okay. Physio. But she's got the uniform on, I know yeah. where I am, so please tell her that they've said yeah. how proud they are. Okay. You'll need to tell her that when she's doing the decorating, when she goes, No, this well. is going to be a good daughter. Well, you're going to have to balance them out because you're going to have one door, so it's going to be really upset going, Oh, mom, this has fallen down. That's not. Are you with me? Yeah. So you're going to have to balance the two. Oh, yeah. Oh, bless. Is somebody wanting to buy a puppy? I've got a puppy. Well, you'll hear about it anyway, yeah. okay? Because I've just mentioned a puppy, not a dog, so I don't feel like somebody's already got the dog, somebody's going to have a puppy, okay. okay? So, you know, by the time we're getting into next year, there's going to be this puppy, and you're going to go, What? <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, that's your reaction because they've just told me that. What? What do you want to do that for? <laughs> but anyway, that'll be coming, okay? okay. okay. I hope okay. it's not with your daughter that's decorating because that'll be the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, let me just check. So, they're happy with that as well. They're also mentioning somebody called Graham. Sonny Graham is? No. Okay. Well, let me give that back to you because I've got some. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. So, does anybody understand who Graham is? Because I've got Graham, and who else did I mention? There was another man's name that was shouting. We've got the guy with the. Um, oh, yeah. Nobody understands who Graham is. 
So I'm going to have to get him to wait. If I've you got the surname, Graham. Yeah, fine. That's what I was just about to say. You know, you're all looking at me blank, and I'm thinking, I know I'm hearing it right. So if you understand, don't be hesitant. Okay, I'll come to you now. Right, what's your name, my love? Helen. Hi, Helen. Um, give me something to hold. Have you, do you wear it a lot? This, this mainly. I Can wear you get that off? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't say things like that, should I? <laughs> <laughs> say it off. We'll just get that off, you know? There you go, Helen. Right, you do some notes for her. Okay, good. Right. Right, who's had, Helen, earache? Somebody around you has had earache, or if it's not earache, they've either got glasses that are uncomfortable or a hearing aid. Could be my granddad. Okay, fine. So let me say that, because that, that's right. As soon oh, as. I mean, Nan, she's dead. Yeah, I was just going to go, hello? My nana and my daddy could be either of them. Okay, fine, let me sort it out. Sorry, I've got my finger behind me here, because apparently that's how you'll know who it is, because they fiddle with it all the time. You know, like a hearing aid, it's like, and you'll hear them go, oh, that's really uncomfortable, I can't, because I can't take my finger off my ears. Like, really uncomfortable. So is that dad or nan that's constantly going... Well, Nan's been suffering for years, but Dad's recent, and my daddy's just been for okay. the so. Is it red, meaning he's fed up with it and it's not... You know, like, when you wear glasses for a while, you get used to it, but I feel like it's uncomfortable. It's probably it's Nan, so, OK, fine. <laughs> well, let, let's talk about Nan, then. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that I haven't got my hand glued to me here now. Right, OK. Now, is Nan's husband up there? No. OK. I've got somebody belonging to Nan up there, okay? And I also want to talk about, has Nan got arthritis in her, in her wrists and going down into her hands? Because my hands really hurt. No, it's the legs. Okay, no. Sorry. Yes or no? <laughs> no, sorry. Okay, I've got a lady in spirit that belongs to your Nan, okay, who's got really bad arthritis and something in her hands, okay? So, has Nan got a sister up there? It's either a sister or a mum, but she had really bad mom. hands. Okay, fine. Because I can feel, I've gone from me here, and they're trying to identify who they are, and she's gone, all oh, my hands are really in a bad way. You can check this with your nan. Yeah. Okay, so we'll know what we're talking about. So, it's her mum, your great-grandmother, that's giving us the information, so you know who it is. Okay? They're also talking about, do you know who Bert is? Bert, Albert, because she needs to ask oh. nan this. I know the name, but oh, I don't know who we No, yeah, well, what this yeah, is what I'm saying family. before we started. Yeah. You go and speak, and Nan will go, oh, yeah, that's such and such. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Okay? And she's laughing, because this lady's got her mint imperials out, so ask your Nan about that, okay? <laughs> you know them white sweets? Yeah. Mint imperials, mm -hmm. okay? And your Nan's lovely. She's got a very, very nice personality. Are you with me? Some mm. old people are really like, oh, you don't want to spend time with her. But apparently, I'm being told your Nan is a real character mm. where you quite like to sit down and have a chat with her. Mm -hmm. OK? Yeah. And she's, she <laughs> thinks it's funny up there, her mum. She's gone, oh, yeah, she's really lovely. You, can, you know, because some people go, mm, I'm going to go and see that. But, you know, but your Nan's lovely. That's what they're saying. She's good to be able to talk to. You know, you could say to her, listen, Nan, what about this? And she'd make you laugh or she'd give you some good advice, mm. OK? Mm -hmm. So she's a good person to have a round. They're also talking about Helen, somebody called Stan. Okay? Well, you ask Nan. Okay. Because you need to check Bert, which will be Albert, and you need to yeah. check Stan as well. Okay? Yeah. And they've also got Rose. So ask Nan mm -hmm. whether she had a friend called Rose, or it might even be a middle name, but it's not the flower, it is the name that she's talking about. Right. Okay? Now, who's the person that's trying to get fit at the moment? <laughs> All of us. <laughs> so when I talk about getting fit, I'm talking about a bit of jogging, a bit of cycling. That's what they're showing me. Probably me. Okay. Walking, Have you start walking? Running, yoga, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Because I'm getting fit. That's what they're saying. I'm getting fit. So your great grandma's pleased about that, but she's saying, okay, she's making me laugh because she's using the word. She's got it's a bit of a fad. She says she has a bit. She has these fads. <laughs> sorry. That's, I'm sorry. This. Because when they talk, they know you and I don't. But, you know, I don't want to get the blame. But your great grandmother's going, oh, it's a bit of a fad, you know. But it's all right, let her carry on. Because it'll, it'll go from, you know, like the cycling to the jogging to the whatever. So it'll change. So she doesn't mind what you do to keep fit, but apparently you keep chopping and changing because mm -hmm. you can't help it. <laughs> okay. And I've also got a June birthday. Do you understand that? Not July, June. Whose birthday's in June? It'll either be a family birthday or a celebration or anniversary of somebody's passing. Whenever they give me a month, it'll be important for that. So if you don't understand it now, I want you to write it. I'll go, why did you put the 22nd? 
Ask Nan about the 22nd of June. Okay. And she'll be able to tell you what's going on, okay? Right, has this Nan got, um, I know you mentioned her legs earlier, but has she, have they mentioned about a hip replacement or something to do with this? Possibly, yeah. Okay, because I feel like they're sort of watching, you know, but your Nan doesn't really want to have it because she don't like, no. being, me she don't like being messed with, no. is what I'm, I'm hearing, okay? <laughs> but they're saying, yeah, she can wait a bit longer, but she might eventually have to have a hip done because that's what they're talking about, you understand? Mm. They're also talking about somebody called Irene. Do you know what Irene is? Not personally, but the name again from oh, my right, mum. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, Nan's going to have a field day. Yeah, you're going to go around and talk to her and go, Nan, and she's going to go, what? <laughs> and then you're going to go, it's all right, and you're going to show her the list with all these yeah. names, and she can just tick them off, okay? <laughs> There's loads of lovely, lovely people around you, you know, because you've got a lot of family members up there, but really, this evening, they're trying to send lots and lots of information to Nan. Right. I mean, bless her, you know, they, yeah. she's very, very loved and very missed yeah by a lot of people up there look i mean it's just like she's she was such a wonderful supportive loving person to such a lot of people yeah. and the more i'm saying it look the more it's going and it's just like they're all up there saying can you please tell her how much she thought of because she really was the person when things were tough that people would go to and have a cup of tea and she really was a tower of strength yeah you know and they're just giving me this big like bouquet of roses to give to you, to give to her, because they said she's one of these people that needs to be appreciated because she walks around like an earth angel. She really has done her part. Hold on, let me give you. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's not often that you get a whole band of people up there that are like, but she is, your, your nan is proper. Do you know what I mean? And especially now we're coming up to, you know, like Remembrance Day in November, because you've also got quite a few family members that served in the services, and Nan will be thinking about all of those, because they're all here this evening as well. Do you know what I mean? So Nan's the sort of person that she'll want to watch the service on the telly. Yeah. She's got to watch that, that the Remembrance Service on November. She'll be there watching the service. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, you need to tell her, well, we're going to be with her. You know, all round it. So I feel like she might have had a brother or two brothers. You know, there were there were family members that were in the services. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So it's the brothers that you know. Well, please tell her because she's going to be so over the moon <coughs> yeah. that these people have come and said that we're around her. So it'll many. really no, it'll really make a difference to her. You yeah. understand? Because apparently she's been a bit low at the moment. But when you go and tell her all this, she'll be really made up. You understand? Yeah. There you thank go, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I don't mean to make people cry. Righty-ho. Right, Jean. Jean? Anybody? I feel like the lottery. <laughs> Jean! Is that you, Sue? So? I've got some next door neighbour called Jean. Ah, uh, okay. Closest. Okay. Anybody else understand who Jean is before I go? <laughs> You're gonna have to take your Jean. So you've already had your message. I can't. I can't. I, we can't distinguish like that. That's naughty, Laura. Right. Let me give. Give me something to hold and let me connect in for you to see whether is Jean's husband up there. Yes. Fine. That's that's the link. As long. As, sorry, I have to verify that it's meant to be for you. So it's meant to be for her actually. So. Right. Okay. Uh, again, it's because we started off the theme, which which brings them all in of remembrance, okay? Um, so you need to let Jean know that her husband's come and he's sort of keeping an eye on her because I feel as well like she's been under the weather. She's yeah. been under the weather and she's and it's made her feel low. I feel like she's had some sort of illness or whatever or she's been under the weather and she's felt low and he feels like he needs to come tonight <coughs> for you to pass on the message to say, tell her I'm there, tell her I'm all right and I'm with her and she's not on her own, okay? Um, for some reason, he showed me a flask. Did she used to ask her whether she used to make him a, a flask to take to work all the time? Because we don't really do that now, do we? We all go to Starbucks and Costa Coffee. Nobody has a flask. Right? <laughs> but they're talking about, don't they? I don't. That's a flask. Oh, good. Okay. Well, not many people do now, but she wants to. Will you ask her about that? Yeah. I feel like he wants to convey. She really looked after him. Do you understand? He was a bit spoilt, really. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And he's saying, can you tell her? how much I miss her, okay? And he's given me some yellow roses that he wants you to give to her. And yellow roses are for upliftment, but also for friendship, okay? He could have given red, he said, but she already knows that I love her. And he's given her these yellow roses, okay? 
Right, no, he's happy with that. Okay, so we can get on to your loved ones now, but as long as you can do that for him. Yes, okay. He obviously thinks it's urgent, otherwise he wouldn't have pushed in. 